When the children of Israel went into the Promised Land for the first time, they found lots of opposition. They found giants in the land. They found everything that stood in the way uh, of them actually walking in and taking possession just like that. It wasn't like moving into a brand new house where everything is open and uh, you can settle in. Uh, they had to do some work. They had to fight their way in uh, and they had to overcome several obstacles. One of those obstacles was fear. Another was compromise. Uh, and if, if a further one was an addiction to the ways and the practices of people that they should have gotten rid of. And the, the fourth one that we want to look at today is that they actually allowed unsanctioned relationships, relationships that God had said should never happen. They allowed those things to happen in their lives. I want us to talk about that for a few moments right here on Sitam Church Online. My name is Reverend Kwame Rubadiri. The book of Judges, which is perhaps one of the most painful books in all of the Bible to read, it comes right after the book of Joshua. Joshua had successfully led the children of Israel into the promised land. They were now taking possession of the land. They were dividing up the territory so that all the tribes could be situated. They could begin to live their lives and begin to uh, work the land and, and just enjoy the favor and the blessing of God. But not everything went according to plan, as we see in the book of Judges. We find not only were the people victims of fear, uh, they, they were also victims of compromise. They allowed things that God said you should never allow. Uh, and they allowed themselves to fall into the trap of uh, compromising with the tribes that they were, and nations they were supposed to get rid of uh, in order to enjoy the full blessing of the land. They got addicted. Their behavior showed patterns of just going back into these cycles of failure and uh, it's almost as if they refused to let go. The Bible says, uh, even as we close the book of Judges, that every man did what was right in his own eyes because there was no leader, there was no king, there was no direction. One of the things that I think is particularly important for us as Christians, if we are to get hold of our mountains and we are to lay hold of the promised destiny that God has for us as individuals, is we must address all those unsanctioned relationships that God wants to get out and rid of in our lives. You know, there are lots of people I know who have gotten into more trouble than it's, their, it's worth just by hanging out with the wrong crowd, just by getting into a close relationship with a person you have no business getting into uh, any close relationship with. The children of Israel paid a high price for this, and that price was perpetually going through cycles of failure, God bringing them out, paying the price for their children, and just everything being messed up in their lives to the point where it, it looked like the whole thing was about to fall apart. Unsanctioned relationships are a huge price to pay. This is what the Word of God says about sex, uh, situations like that or relationships of that nature in the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 5 and verse 15 says this, Drink water from your own cistern, running water from your own well. This is basically a chapter that's a warning to young people, young men in particular. Don't go running after the loose woman or the strange woman as the Bible describes her. Don't go after that which is pleasurable to the flesh uh, but is turning your heart away from God and your responsibility before God. That's exactly what the children of Israel did. They began to dabble in other religions and other practices that were detestable to God. They began to have relationships with uh, the men having relationships with women, the women having relationships with men uh, from these different nations that did not honor God. They didn't obey God. They compromised in that very important area. And it cost them their lives, and not only theirs, but the lives of future generations as well. If there are some relationships that you need to cut off in 2020 in order to get into your blessing, I would strongly urge you to do so now. God has been speaking to you over time about cutting off a relationship, cutting off an unsanctioned connection because it is definitely going to be detrimental to your future and you will not get to your destiny if you can't continue in it. You need to deal with it right now and let God know that this is the direction you want to take and direction of obedience and commitment to Him and allow Him to bless you, allow Him to take control of 
guiding you on the path of fulfilling your destiny. Don't let anyone who has nothing to do with your destiny get in the way of you and the blessing of your mountain. God wants to give you that mountain and he wants to make sure that nothing stands in the way. Not fear, not compromise, not addiction, and not any unsanctioned relationship. That's my hope and blessing for you in 2020. God bless you.